<coughs> this is a Bertram and we are not here to learn. I'm interested to see what we learn today. By the time this flattens out, it's gonna be back here. So I need to move the boat that way and up. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. This is how I used to get the boat on the trailer. It was painful and it was pretty dangerous. It also puts a bit of wear and tear on the boat. And then if you need to make some adjustments to the trailer, it was a pain in the ass. I used the actuators that are gonna lift the roof up for my boat to make the adjustments I needed. Mm. I definitely will struggle painting past it. This little boat lift project took about $1,500 in material and a week to build. I'm a little worried about this post just because it's really annoying where it is. Where it was before, I had it over here and it was more pleasant for me to get past and get stuff up. But um, I was worried that once the motor is in, if I ever do try to lift it with the motor in, it'll have a lot of weight at the back. So I was trying to spread these posts as far away from each other as I could. Anyway, massive experiment. <laughs> I'll, uh, the problem I'm having now is trying to make these posts e easily removable just from down here so I don't have to go up there and undo bolts. This area back here is absolute gold now. I've got so much junk. <laughs> You want me to lift you up there? Can you put that up there for me? That heavy piece of steel? <laughs> right now. No, that's down. Pull up. Finished? Yeah, you can stop the video. Okay. Oh, that'd be right. This thing's in the way. You've got to notch this out. This is how I'm getting the template for the piece of metal that I have to do here. I don't want to take these bolts out. I couldn't be bothered. It'll have a welded bit that comes out like that and then hold the post down there. This might help you get easy stencils. I really should have just utilized these two bolts, but I don't know, I was not really thinking. There's four good bolts here. This is gonna be a massive test to see if my CNC razor cut 75 will cut through 25 mil mild steel. Let's see how we go.
so far so not good. Round two, fight. Round three. Round four. Wait to it. Look at those wells. I've just got some new sticks and they are way better than what I had. These are the sticks I'm using. 13 S's, 3.2 mil. Big bad Paddy Tim's having a go of the welding. How'd you go? Okay. It's recording. <laughs> Just hold it sideways like that. Keep your fingers out of it. What did you do? No, not that way. <laughs> So this can go this way, or that way, but if I want to dump it on the ground like I do now, it goes this way. And then when it goes yeah. red up the top, that's good. But I need to die grind this one out too, so you press the record button again. Yeah. All right, that one's done. <laughs> yeah, that one's good. It's kind of good that uh, the block is on the corner because then the, it can swivel. The off on this side. Yeah, this side. I'm glad I didn't go less than that. So this is a two ton block. Keep you out on camera, Paddy, when you say funny shit. <laughs> so I forgot to take the trailer hook off, so I was lifting the back of the car up as well, which is why it had more than it needed load on it. Michael Vane just did a 360. Do the other corner and see does it do anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what I mean. You, you're putting all the weight on one. Hold it. 
Oh. Hold on. Trust me, Paddy, this is a good way. Yeah, so I need to come up on this side a bit. We've got a level on the front and a level on the back. And there's a lot of pressure on there. And then I'll just keep going. I'll just keep going. And then I've got this level here. And now I'll lift it up to this way. Hello. I reckon I'll be able to move the boat out now. Don't hop in the boat. I just want to get the trailer out and then just have a look at what the boat looks like without. <laughs> what? You don't want to go in there? Don't you trust it? No, no, I just want to get behind it. But you want to go under it? No. <laughs> Hold it! Still perfectly level. But didn't you say you wanted to go put it up the other way? Look at how high that is. And it can go way higher. I just flip them over. But even like that, it will be so easy to work on. Hello, Patty. Easily work under. Uh, I can see all the stuff I haven't fixed underneath the hull yet. We found that it was important to come down evenly or no more than one inch at a time per side. These are going to be perfect. They're going to be the things that squash into the hull that lift it up and down. It definitely won't make any marks and I think it'll spread the weight out big enough. What do you guys reckon? Said Michael to the sound of crickets. This is what you can get away with. You don't have to have some fancy pants mechanism like what I'm about to make. I want to make the nice uh, foot thing, but it doesn't need that. But I just want to do it so it's safer. I'm all about safety. I just got to make sure that it, this all lands in the right spot. It needs to go where the stringer is. And this will move now. I just cut a bunch of these out with the hole saw and these will go in here so there's more surface area touching the boat. This is very dense. Doing one arm at a time. 
to get these proper supports on. I'm spewing I didn't video it, but when I was doing the front right hand arm with the new good support, I um the whole boat shifted to one way and it sounded horrible. It actually split um a block of wood where the, it was leaning on the hull really crap because I was too lazy to to support it properly anyway it, it all slid over and just an experiment i'm just working on this arm now uh to put the the suction cups on it i um i i i took all the pressure off that side um so the the suction cups were hardly on on that side and then i had this side with lots of pressure uh the back right hand corner and then I just shoved it over with my shoulder and it moved over real easy and not dangerously. Anyway, I'll try to get that on video next time it happens. But I really needed to do that because I'm about to cut this arm back um, so I can put the suction cups on this as well. This is the last one. Pain in the ass. <laughs> I should have done it when it was on the trailer. I really need to make proper ones of these just Temporary stands that I can put around that I can adjust a little bit just I don't know, in case I want to do this and when I dump it all the way on the ground It's only leaning on that and that on the back while I Fix this arm up just so you guys know what you can get away with if anyone isn't confident with doing this stuff So I've got all the arms on and I'm spewing I'm just off the ground it's touching on the front, but yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, I'll level the back up now. Is there much weight on them? Yeah, shitload. I've got it recording now. Mm. I'm just going to give it a push this way. And see. I just want to see how much. How's that? Because that moved really easy. Uh, now it's off on this one. And it's on on that one. I have to lift it up higher. started dropping the front but you can see how high I have to jack the front up so the trailer can get over the hill and it's back on the trailer all I have to do is disconnect these arms it takes about five minutes per arm and then it's back to normal back on the trailer I just got to remember to attach the winch but I'm probably gonna lift it off again it took me about probably an hour that time to get it onto the trailer but I reckon I could get that down to 30 minutes and before when I was doing it with the jack I had to disconnect the trailer and then winch it on um, with the winch on the trailer and let the front flip up like that. It was dicey as hell. 
That's why I made these, so I can move it around. I think it's good having this up really high when I need to paint the sides and sand the sides, and I need this really low when I need to sand the, the deck and uh, when I need to glue and repair all the side here. The reason I can lift the boat up with the small contacts there is because it lands straight on the stringers. So it's like having a big beam. while it comes down and up because the seam on the sleeve on this sleeve uh, I didn't grind it off and I should have so now I need to take this post out and it'll just lift up like that and then move over like this except I'll probably have to bring it all the way down if I want to shave that out or I just won't care and I probably won't use the elevator that much because it's not as practical as I thought it would be. But it might be practical later when the boat isn't so close to these posts. Cut. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Please like and subscribe so I can make some more cool stuff on my boat. And I'll be your best, best friend.